Uh, have you ever looked up at a giant airplane in the sky and wondered, how does that thing stay up there? It's a marvel of modern engineering and science. It seems impossible. After all, airplanes are big and heavy, unlike birds with their flapping wings. Yet they manage to soar gracefully through the skies, covering vast distances in a matter of hours. The truth is, airplanes fly because of science. It's a fascinating interplay of physics and engineering that makes this possible. It's all about forces, invisible pushes and pulls that interact to make flight possible. These forces are constantly at work, ensuring that the airplane remains airborne. Think of it like a game of tug of war in the air. Each force has its role and they must be perfectly balanced. There are four main forces at play lift, thrust, drag and weight. Lift is what pushes the airplane up while thrust propels it forward. Drag is the resistance it faces and weight is the force pulling it down. These forces work together in a delicate balance to keep an airplane soaring through the clouds. The wings are specially designed to create lift and the engines provide the necessary thrust. Get ready to have your mind blown as we explore the amazing science of flight. From the principles of aerodynamics to the cutting edge technology in modern aircraft, there's so much to discover. First up, let's meet the stars of our show, the four fundamental forces of flight. Lift. Lift is like an upward push that counteracts an airplane's weight. It's what allows the plane to overcome gravity and stay airborne in the sky. Thrust. This is the force that moves the airplane forward. Think of it as the engine's power pushing the plane through the air efficiently. Drag. Drag is like air resistance. It tries to slow the airplane down, acting in the opposite direction of thrust, hindering its motion. Weight. This is the force of gravity pulling the airplane down towards the Earth, keeping it grounded when not in flight. The secret to lift lies in the clever design of an airplane's wings. These wings are not just simple flat surfaces, they are meticulously engineered to achieve the miracle of flight. They are curved on top and flatter on the bottom. This unique curvature is essential for creating the necessary aerodynamic forces. This special shape is called an airfoil. The airfoil design is a result of years of research and development in aerodynamics. When air flows over the curved upper surface of the wing, it has to travel a longer distance than the air flowing under the wing. This difference in travel distance is crucial. This difference in distance causes the air on top to move faster, which creates lower air pressure above the wing. Faster moving air means lower pressure. Since the air pressure below the wing is now higher, it pushes the wing upwards generating lift. This lift is what allows the airplane to rise into the sky. It's like magic, but it's really science. The principles of physics and engineering come together to make flight possible. Now, how does a pilot control the airplane? It's a fascinating process that involves a combination of advanced technology and human skill. Airplanes have special parts that help them maneuver in the air, just like a car has a steering wheel and pedals. These parts are essential for the pilot to navigate through the skies safely and efficiently. Rudder. This flap on the vertical tail helps the airplane turn left or right, like the steering wheel of a car. It's crucial for making precise directional changes, especially during takeoff and landing elevators. These flaps on the horizontal tail help the airplane move up or down. They are vital for controlling the pitch of the airplane allowing it to climb to higher altitudes or descend smoothly. Imagine them as the controls that make the nose point up for takeoff or down for landing. This movement is essential for achieving the correct angle of ascent or descent ailerons. These flaps on the wings help the airplane roll or tilt. They are key to maintaining balance and stability during flight, especially when making turns. They work by creating differences in lift on each wing, making one go up while the other goes down. This differential lift allows the airplane to perform complex maneuvers and maintain its course. By adjusting these controls, pilots can manipulate the four forces of flight, lift, thrust, drag and weight, to steer the airplane safely through the air. Each adjustment is a calculated move to ensure a smooth and safe journey, and that's how airplanes fly. It's a delicate balance of forces and precise control that allows these massive machines to soar through the skies. It's a combination of brilliant engineering, powerful engines, clever wing design, and the skillful control of pilots who understand the amazing science of flight. Every flight is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of mastering the skies.